I'm gonna show you how to apply slow motion to any footage regardless of frame rate. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn super choppy footage into super smooth and slow motion footage in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So right here we have a 30 frames per second video and usually you wouldn't be able to slow this down without it being super choppy. So first we're gonna slow it down. So you wanna right click, go to speed and duration. And then we're gonna set it at like 50%, for example. You can also choose the duration to fill up. And typically the time interpolation is on frame sampling. You also have the option to use the rate stretch tool, which is a lot easier. So if you press R on your keyboard, it's also on this toolbox right here. You can drag the beginning and end of your clip and it basically slows it down and fills in that time. So here you can see it's 35%, but if I move it closer, it's 58%. So if we just slow down our footage, you can see it's very choppy. That's because it doesn't have enough frames. So essentially what we're gonna do is fill in those frames. You wanna right click on your clip and go to speed and duration. And there's two options that you wanna choose. Optical flow will give you the most smooth footage, but sometimes it has some issues where the clip jitters or sort of like glitches out. And I'm also gonna show you frame blending because they do produce slightly different results. So if we use optical flow, you can see it's the same thing right now because we haven't rendered it out. So you want to just go to sequence and go to render selection. So here it's rendered out. You will notice that there are a lot of like jitters and a lot of like glitches like right there. And so that's the issue with optical flow if you slow it down too much or your footage isn't suitable for this. So if you want to have the best results, you want some sort of footage that is already smooth, isn't moving too fast and has like a consistent image. So if there's like a bunch of like lights flashing or something like that, the result might be altered. So a good middle ground might actually be using the frame blending option, which still has some sort of choppiness, but it is much better than frame sampling. So I'm gonna press okay, and I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And I'm also gonna show you how it looks like once we make some changes. So here it's still kind of choppy, but it's a lot better. It also produces a lot more motion blur. So that is the trade-off, but here's a good like middle ground. So I'm gonna show you how to produce the best results. So I noticed that if you go to speed and duration and don't slow it down too much, so around 70%, and we use optical flow, this is what produces the best results. If you do wanna go down to like 30, 40%, I would recommend just using frame blending. So if we press play right here, there's no real jitters and I think it looks pretty good. If you do notice there's jitters, there is a way you can sort of fix it. So right there, there's one jitter, I think in the entire video. You can duplicate your clip, go to speed and duration, and just set that portion of the video as frame blending. And so if we just cut the sides right here and we just press play, and maybe we just like fade into this clip right here. You won't see that jitter anymore because we have frame blending on. So that portion of the video will look slightly different, but no one will notice. But if we take this off right here, it jitters. But yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also check out the end screen for a Premiere Pro playlist to check out more videos like this.